What's up everybody, um, welcome to Rewind245, Rewind Productions. Um, I'm here to give my thoughts and impressions on Little Big Planet 3. Um, I played a good chunk of it, I completed the story, um, didn't take me very long. Um, I haven't done any of the side stuff, like there's a lot of side stuff to unlock and of course a lot of costumes and um, you know other items, but I've completed the story, I played a good amount of the community levels. I haven't really touched um, the um, the level creator yet, but I will get around to it. But I guess I just wanted to address some of the issues that I've been experiencing with um, Little Big Planet Three. Um, I guess we'll start off with um, the single player itself. Um, now there was a couple of moments within the story. Um, it wasn't too dramatic, but there were some moments within the story where I was playing and I would fall out of the world. And I had to um, pop myself, and if you don't know what popping is, well, I can't show you over here. But basically, it's killing yourself, so you, it, whenever you're stuck, you kill yourself and go back into the game. But anyway, there were some moments in the game where, um, yeah, like, I was, you know, put out of the world, and I had to kill myself in order to go back into it. Now, this only happened to me a couple of times, so it was no big deal. But it is an issue if you're trying to go through it um, in perfection without dying or whatever. Um, um, but now let's go through some more, I guess, um, serious problems that I've, I've been experiencing with the game. And that's some um, game crashes. The game crashes quite a bit and it's not just me. Um, I've seen um, comments of other people complaining about the same thing. And IGN's review talked about this that the game um, does tend to crash and there is a patch in the game but you know despite that patch there's still issues over here um, now the first time wasn't a big issue um, when the game crashed I was actually playing online co-op and that's a good thing the co-op here it seems it works fine I only tried it once but it actually works well like it was actually fluent there was no lag there was no connection issues Unlike the other little, little Big Planet games where there are lag or connection issues, this one I did not experience any lag or connection issues with um, the online co-op. But, but then again, I haven't played around with it much. Um, um, but yeah, we were playing, we played a couple of levels within the story. and um, But yeah, when we completed one of the levels, the game crashed. And um, um, yeah, the game crashed and... Um, I tried to go back into it, and I was like, okay, I, I want to try to play online again. And um, I, I just tried exploring um, some of the community levels. Um, I just tried exploring some of the community levels. I was looking through the new level section, and, um, and the game crashed on me again. And this time it was more dramatic, I guess, and more serious, because... Um, yeah, I got kicked out. N not only that did the game crash, but my PS4 um, reset. And, um, like, the screen turned into black and the PS4 shut down and then it was resetting. And, of course, while it was resetting, it was trying to re retrieve all the data. And I was, I was really worried. And then I tried to boot up Little Big Planet 3 again. And um, my save data was corrupted. And, um, you know, that really got me worried because... Um, I was worried I had to redo and replay the story again, but thankfully, um, I did not have to replay the story. But what I what was lost was my collectibles, like all the stuff that. Um, let me show you. Placing. No, no, I'm not here. Adventure. Welcome like all the stuff that I collected. Like I don't know if you see. Ready it's at for the zero great percent. and thrilling journey through Bunker Mayu? What? Twists and turns await you. Now you can see I had those levels unlocked and I have them completed, but it's at zero percent. And um, and like yeah, all of all of the stuff that I collected, the stickers, the um, the um, the stickers and other stuff. These are old stickers. These are the stickers from Little Big Planet One and Two. Um, but the new stickers and other collectibles and items have all been removed because of my my corrupt my save was corrupted um but yeah that was the only bad thing about it and yeah uh, it sort of started me from the beginning but i reset the game and yeah every every um i was able to continue on the story from where i left off 
Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I was playing yesterday, and it, it did crash on me one more time, but it wasn't so extreme or dramatic. Um, but I was also wanting wanting to test out how the older Little Big Planet levels play, like the Little Big Planet One community levels and the Little Big Planet Two community levels. And I played a couple of the Little Big Planet One community levels, some of my favorite um, community levels. And yeah, they worked well visually and all that. Like they played well for the most part, but the one problem they had was the the music. Like the mu in one of the levels, um, the music was glitching a lot and it wasn't working very well. And another level that I played called Hell's Angels, um, like the music was working fine for the most part, but there's this part in the game where the music transitions, but over here it doesn't make that transition and um, it doesn't make it at all. And yeah, it, it just turns, the music just gets quiet. Um, so yeah, that's kind of upsetting. But overall, they play well, it just, it seems like the music plays a bit of an issue for some of the older community levels. And then I played a couple of Little Big Planet 2 levels. Now one one of them worked completely fine. Um, I had no issues with them. It was actually kind of a pretty funny level. And um, um, I'll sh probably share that with you guys sometime. But it, one of those levels worked fine. But then I played another Little Big Planet 2 level. And um, it was working well for the most part. But then I encountered this part of the game where... There was this clone of myself, like my sack boy. Like I was here and there was like an exact copy of me over here. And he was just standing there like he was not doing anything. And I was like, okay, that's weird. So, and I was kind of stuck. I was trying to figure out how to get out of the game. And I couldn't find a way out. And at first I thought it was a, uh, a creator flaw. But I'm pretty sure, sh like, this was like an MM pick. This was like... Uh, one of those levels that are very popular or whatever and um, well regarded so um, you know if something like that if there, that was an issue then the creator would have fixed it by now but um, I think this, this this has to do with the game itself the Little Big Planet 3 and and the thing that made it more weird is that yeah um, yeah I ended up dying within that area I got stuck in and all it was was a screen like I couldn't continue on there was no checkpoint I couldn't continue playing the level like it was just that clone just standing there and I, I couldn't do anything about it like it was just stuck there so I had to quit the game um, so that was the one problem I experienced with the Little Big Planet 2 level other Little Big Planet 3 levels there's only a few of them right now but they seem to work pretty well um, but another problem I have with playing the older Little Big Planet levels community levels is that yeah, the low times seem to last a little long um, I don't think that goes for all of them, like the ones that I, I tried went by fairly quickly, but I guess one of the more complex ones take a very long time, and, um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty problematic, and yeah, I want to give a proper review for this game, but before I do that, I want to address some of the issues that some of this game has, it is really good, like, um, the new additions, um, really flesh out the experience, and, um, you know, there's a lot more content, and if you're a noob to to Little Big Planet, there's a bunch of community, a bunch of great community levels for you to check out. And if you're an old school Little Big Planet creator, you know the new additions will be a nice, fresher breath, fresh air. But yeah, that's about it. That's all the issues that I experienced. I guess if you think about it, these issues are definitely serious, and they will kind of may ruin the experience for you. And if I guess if you're trying to think about buying this game, I will say to like wait for a patch or something. But I'm not sure if they're going to make a patch because the reviews are fairly mixed. Like there's people like IGN who rated it low and address some of the issues that this game has. And there's some games like um, Game Informer and Joystick that have given a great reviews and um, have, said, have said very great things about Little Big Planet 3. But I, for me, um, I would say play it safe and don't get the game yet uh, until these these issues are fixed. Um, but if you're one of those people who've already bought it like myself um, and have experienced these issues, I guess just continue on and playing it and just hope for the best that you don't experience some of these issues or don't experience them in a dramatic way. But um, yeah, that's about it. You know, just trying to address some of those issues. 
Um, but yeah, I'll try to um, get up to date with this game, play some more, and give a, a more proper and informative review for Little Big Planet 3. But until then, um, keep it locked in.